Intermittent fasting. Everybody's doing it. It's actually legitimately skipping a meal in a day. I don't like not eating breakfast because I want my caloric intake to be as high as possible. I'm 145 pounds soaking wet, 5'6", build at 5'6". I'm actually 5'5". Five five. I just tell people that I'm 5'6", because you always go one inch up. I want to be mobile, but I also don't want to be like a small person. I like to be, you know what I mean? So yeah, I'm going to start the day off with some oats. pretty much the base of the protein. For a little bit of additional protein, now some people will put protein powder, but I find it to be a little bit too grainy. So what I do is that I hit it up with a little bit of Greek yogurt. I don't have a ton left. Any will do, 19 grams of protein, and I just dump that shit on there. Looks like I'm on the last bit here, so I'm just gonna scrape as much on there as possible. Not only does this cool down the oats, but it also gives you whatever additional protein that you can get from your oatmeal. Oatmeal already has, I think, five to seven grams, depending on how much you eat. But this Greek protein really adds it. Look at that. I actually don't really like Greek yogurt on its own, so what I choose to do is put it in oatmeal. That's the only way that I feel that it's bearable. Some more added protein is some walnuts. I like walnuts in my oatmeal, but I like to top it with a little bit of honey. I'll put some chocolate chips in there. Oatmeal on its own is actually quite bland, and so doing everything that I've done, including putting the mixed berries, the granola, the honey on top of the walnuts, the Greek yogurt, it just makes it uh, a lot more edible, I find. And yeah, it's a great source of protein. This entire bowl is 30 grams. If you add everything that you put on it, that's approximately what it is, and it's a great start to your day. So hit it up, try to work it out, and see if you like it. And obviously, as soon as you're done, hit some push-ups. do you think it became convincing enough for the industry as a whole to, to go for wigs as being sort of the go-to solution instead of real hair? Yeah, well yeah. the thing is too is that it comes down to the artist. So if, if, if your artist is extremely good with wigs and you can make that wig look real, then you've, you're sold. How's my hair, by the way? Yeah, is is it okay? Like, it's would you, really good, no. would, would you fit it with a wig? I think that I would need a little bit of a wig. Give it a little bit more volume. Yeah, With some yeah. of our yeah. hairstyles, maybe, on this yeah. show. You okay. know, we are in fancy land. Because so. I relate the most to Lan, right? Because he's yeah. Asian, yeah. I'm Asian. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's the abs, actually. You could do yeah. maybe a that's, double. Very yeah, double. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Double. Yeah, a little, <laughs> little height difference, but, you know, it's okay. We'll work it out.
So I'm not a complicated guy. I got scrambled eggs, I got some tofu, and I got some avocado toast with a little hot sauce on it. But I'm all about simplistic meals. I mean, I'm very, very lazy. Obviously not as lazy as someone who door dashes, skip the dishes, whatever Uber Eats or whatever. But like, I make cheap food. Avocados are kind of expensive, but tofu balances all out because an entire block of tofu is two, three dollars, but I put it all together and I make sure that the entire meal is protein heavy and off I go.